Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to troubleshoot a, a web problem that I saw that I was able to recreate in the office that's a, a little misleading. So this is actually a pretty good little exercise to go through. So we're going to use uh, Wireshark today and I'm going to redo the same exercise with a bunch of other tools as I go along because that seems to be quite a popular thing. First thing I'm going to do is remote into my web server just using VNC here and you can see here it says default this is just IIS by the way, IIS server. And if I come over here and I go to manage website and I come to limits what I've done is I've intentionally set the number of connections low nobody would do this but the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to simulate what would happen when you run out of the number of connections on an IIS server so there we go so that's all done so I'm just gonna close this off and next thing we're gonna do is figure out um, how to set up Wireshark appropriately because I don't want to capture everything in the background I got my email going and all sorts of garbage so if I come over here I got two options I can just double click on it or I can go to capture options I'm just gonna double click on it and there's my IP address and really important thing I've noticed people messing around with this limit each packet D don't do this don't packet slice because uh, you might need the data so just for now leave that alone and for the capture filter I want to make sure I filter on the host and TCP port 80 in this case HTTP port 80 now it doesn't have to be 80 it could be 8000 or 8080 but that's not relevant right now it's just port 80 for me so that's what I'm gonna put in here the host and I'm using the name because I don't know what her IP is and it's Betty HP because the server's name is Betty and guess what it's an HP then the double and percent for and and then TCP space port 80 I could have also just done port 80, but I know it's TCP, so I'm going to use TCP port 80 so I don't see SSDP type stuff fly around. So there's my capture filter. I'm going to click OK. Start. And now it's started. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my web browser and I'm going to simply go to betty.hp. And you can see the page is loading. There's an image and then the rest are all broken looks like there's a coding issue on the website doesn't it and this is what the customer was experiencing and he thought it was you know the webmaster or somebody made an error that way and it wasn't it had nothing to do with that so let me show you how to troubleshoot this I'm going to come over here and stop my capture because I don't need to see all that and we know data is flowing so I'm not going to be concerned about the actual data I don't care about that I'm trying to find out why those images didn't load so I'm going to use an HTTP filter and by doing that you can see there's my gets for those images and then you can see what happened here service unavailable service of an event see that so what happened was the first get went out and obviously got my data and then as I went over here this was a different connection and how do I know that well here my get command if I come down to my TCP layer I can see the port numbers I'm using 80 being the server and then my return port is 55528. If I come over here to the next get, 5528, 5529, see that? That's a different connection. And that makes total sense because from the web browser, we got one, you see? We didn't get the rest. So this was a port, different port, different port, different port. So the server rendered this image and then didn't give us the rest because we did not have enough connections. Now the interesting thing about it was nothing came up on that web page to say service unavailable, service unavailable, service unavailable. Now the customer had somebody else look at this and saw this message and didn't know or correlate this back to the number of connections. They thought the service being the IIS server had gone down. That's not the case. The server's up and running. It just ran out of connections. So this is a fantastic example on how to capture packets and look at these error messages and reproduce a very common problem. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.